Epic Geek of my name is Epic Gamer, and welcome to another Epic Tutorial. This Epic Tutorial is really useful for those of you who use Sony Vegas. And if you have a really crappy mic, I can show you how to like maybe boost it and make it sound more professional. So I recorded these clips and I added some different effects to them. This one has track compressor. So this one has track compressor, this one has track EQ, and this one has both of them. This one's just normal. So I'm gonna go through them and you're, you can see the difference on how this affects your quality of your audio. And so, hope you guys like this tutorial and be sure to leave a like down below. Let's try to get around three to four likes. Alright. So I'm just gonna play to this and then try to listen to like the differences. I bet you'll hear them, but a uh, track compressor may be like, it sort of sounds the same as the first one. So yeah, it's just a little finisher for track you for track, yeah. So I'm just gonna play it and yeah. What is up all you epic people? My name is Epic Gamer and this is a mic test that I'm going to do in the video. So this is my regular audio. As you can see, it's pretty fine, but I could do better. So now I'm going to bring in some track compressor in and yeah, it sounds a little bit better, but not as better as it's going to sound right now when I do track EQ. Yes, this sounds amazingly good. <laughs> as we can say it's really it really brings out the bass in your voice and it makes your microphone sound really professional and so now i'm gonna put track eq and compressor so now you can see it sounds really good and final touch and all that and stuff so yeah hope you like that and that's all i have to say today so yeah, you can notice that track compressor only does a little bit, but like the slightest bit because I'm pretty sure I don't know how to use that and I think it just f finalizes your audio. So what's good about track EQ is that it brings your bass as I said in the video or in the recording and it also, so if you have white noise in your mic, it should reduce it and for my settings, it reduced it a lot. So like, mm -hmm. what is up, all you epic people? My name is Epic Gamer, and this is you can just hear that white noise in the beginning. And so before that, I used to use Express Audio Resp uh, Audio Restoration. It's go to here, and I click. I used that, but that time, I always used it, and it had a problem with it. So it only it barely made my voice better. And so I just played around with um, some settings in here. So and I tried, I just tried it out, and then it, I found out that track EQ is amazing for recording. And so if you want some professional sounding quality with your crappy microphone, if you have one, yeah, that's that's how you do it. So I have an XLR microphone. This will be good if anyone has a USB plug-in microphone. That would be really good because those are usually not that professional sounding. I mean, I, I don't have a USB microphone, so I couldn't really say that, but I have an XLR mic. So anyways, enough talking. I'm going to teach you how to actually change it. And you can set, you can see my settings and you shouldn't copy off of mine, but if that's the only best sounding settings that there is, um, go ahead. But the only reason I'm saying this is that all microphones are different, so different settings will be basically affect on how you prefer it to sound. So anyways, uh, let me show you track uh, compressor. So you go to here, and then track noise gate, that's, I don't use it, I don't, I don't think it does anything. But anyway, so here's my setting. Now, you can just take my settings as a template and then just play around with them. Just move the dials to see how it sounds good and all that. But... Yeah. So I'm going to leave this up for a little bit and let you see it.
All right. So now I'm gonna go to track E2. So you can go here again. And oh, this, this uh, there we go. This is track EQ. So you can just play around with these settings. You can move it around, make it sound like whatever you want it to sound like. There's even some presets if you want to try those, but I I wouldn't suggest those because I went through them and they didn't they didn't really do that good. But I guess you can just go off of them if you wanted to. But here's mine. Basically what you do is there's like four little waves and the first two are low shelves. Well, I think yeah four is high shelf, but first one's low shelf and So what it basically does I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure what it does, but this part um, We can just play this and then this while playing, you can amazing just go through it and then go like good that. See what it sounds As like. Say, it's really, it really brings out the bass in your voice, and it makes your microphone sound really professional. This one just makes it and so now I'm gonna put it's track EQ like and compressor. So now you can see it sounds really good and final touch and all that so. stuff. So yeah, hope you like that. Basically, and that's all the tutorial. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like for more tutorials in the, in the future. And let me know if you want to see how to make a transparent or overlay. And comment down below if you want to see that. And anyways, remember, stay epic!